People often ask me, what two card combo should I run in historic? And I tell them, <laughs> that's a thing, as I know these things. Just put all the two card combos into your historic deck and it's gonna be amazing. Because that's what we're doing today, of course. We're playing as many two card combos as we could fit into a six card deck and also have room enough for a couple of board wipes so that we survive. <laughs> What we're doing this? So, I guess we need to go through all the combos. First combo is actually a member combo. It's Strider Stones. We didn't play this deck because it didn't get voted up. But this was his idea to go Scourge of the Skyclaves with halves your opponent's life total. And Warlock Class, which doubles the damage you've dealt. A half plus a half is a whole. You, you win. It's pretty hilarious. And it's also possible to play this in standard. But we're of course playing this in Historic because we want more combos. Next combo with Warlock Class is of course play Warlock Class with... Revenge, very, very, very simple. Her opponent loses half the life round up. Same ability as Cursor of the Cataclaves. Okay, two combos. Next combo is we can combo Revival. Revenge, of course, with Dido Bandido. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life, which means that if you have like 20 life and you double that and 40 life or something and you, you gain that much life, your opponent your dad dies. Unless they have a, you know, very, very high life total. Uh, so that's one combo. So now we're up to three. I <laughs> did four, we're up to three now. Then Marauding Blight Priest plus Exquisite Blood, of course, creates an infinite combo where we gain life and they lose life and they gain life and they lose life uh, until they die. Vito does pretty much the same thing. So the first was four with Marauding Blight Priest, five with Vito. There might be a sixth in there which I missed, but probably not. And then we have Board Wipes to survive. Day of Judgment, Wrath of God, uh, Hagar's Molly, Creature Moveable is good. Agadim's Awakening can return these dorks from the graveyard. And uh, let's just let's just try it out. I think if you have enough combos in your deck, you're always gonna run into it. And then I just proved that wrong. But yeah, there are cards which aren't the combo, I guess. And uh, this hand is kind of crap, but it has <laughs> it has board wipes. Everybody, it has board wipes, so it's probably gonna work out. I'm just gonna go ahead and say I think we'll win more <laughs> games. Where we get Wrath of God or Day of Judgment more than the times when we get an early combo or something. Here's what I think we'll actually do. We'll not play the Warlock class because we're not gonna play anything next turn. So we'll play Warlock class and use it because this guy might have, I don't know, some kind of enchantment removal or something. Possible. Very much possible because he probably plays the life gain deck as everyone does. <laughs> and uh, so we probably run that card which can destroy an enchantment or gain for life. That card should be banned! <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> I hate it because I always run so many enchantments. In ev I mean, in every janky deck. True sign of a janky deck. You, you, need, more, you need more than four board wipes <laughs> to survive. That's the first, first part of the equation. Second part. Ooh, okay, well, one combo piece. See if we can find something that uh, goes along with that then. Let's see here. We have the top cards. Badoosh. Uh, let's see, Marauding... Oh, oh this is... This, uh, this is a win here! We play Marauding Blight Priest. We have we need to have something which gains us life also. And then Exquisite Blood. And then we win. Easy peasy. Maybe we play this first, I think. Uh, yeah, because four on four manas we play one of these two. Then we play Exquisite Blood, and then we play this. And hopefully we have some way of gaining life. That would be amazing. Luminarch Aspirant. I, I promise you there's gonna be life gain in this also. He's not just only gonna be playing the Aspirin. You don't go all in Aspirin, I don't think. This card is... It's actually pretty decent, I would say. Most of these cards which put plus counters on it requires you to have another card to, you know, combo with it. But this card is gross. It doesn't require anything. Which makes it very solid. A little bit boring, I guess, because you can't really go ham with the Luminarch Aspirant. Unless you come with, with another card, I guess, but, but... But but it would be cool if it had an ability, like you could activate it somehow, some way, and then it could gain more counters or something. If we could even get an infinite amount of counters, then it would be infinitely more fun. Oh yes, also! Warlock class trigger! <laughs> the beginning of your end step, if a creature die this turn, you shnoon them. Uh, Exclusive Blood, Badank, I think we gotta get him here. I think we gotta get him, we have two ways of winning here. Vito Bandido and Marauding Black Priest. Um, uh, I think we play Vito Bandido. Unfortunately we don't have a way of gaining life. If we had a way of gaining life we would actually win. 
I'll be down to just pass turn. This is uh, pretty solid. I think we'll make it to the diamonds. Oh, actually, winner. Blink! Life link and spa I think this is a combo. I think this works, right? Yes, it works. <laughs> yes, it works! Took some time, but we figured it out now. <laughs> if this didn't work, uh, that would be sad. But it wouldn't be the first time I messed this up. Okay. <laughs> Slow death! And he's sitting through it. Imagine him having a card which could stop this combo now. Wouldn't it be hilarious? It stops at one life and like, get that and shot it! <laughs> but then he still dies the V though, I guess. No, he doesn't, because we've already attacked. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got him! Got him. Got him. Can you spot the wing combo? It's not that obvious, actually, in this hand. Warlock class plus revenge. Okay, it's kind of obvious. Kind of obvious, but we, we got it now. We need, let's see, seven manas, and then we need to play something for six. That's gonna take a while. Ooh, no! I'll be getting life back, it's fine. Gain life back. Get back? Get back? Gain life back? <laughs> Get back? Now, should I have played. No, I couldn't have played that, okay. Goblin Morning Star? Why is it called a Morning Star? Because it looks like a Morning Star, you say. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Not gonna dispute that, sure. Bloop. It looks like a star, yes. It looks like a star. Kind of. Uh, Fireblade Charger. Uh, that we drew the Wrath of God there was uh, kind of Lenoise, gotta say. Kind of Lenoise, okay. Down a little bit low, but I think I think we're fine here. I think we're fine. Okay. Check the top cards. Ooh. Do we just go life going? I mean, we have the combo. Or we could veto. Uh, but that doesn't really help us win more than we were already are. We were already winning! <laughs> so, don't, don't, don't do anything! Uh, we could also put down the Agademes, actually. Put down the Agademes. Badam tapped. The next turn, Radiant Fountain to gain a little bit of life back. Wrath of God is bored. Uh, and then we have Hagra's Mauling for Radiant Days. Let's see. Okay. Badish, badish. Smacks and bangs he did. Uh, but we gotta do them. Down him! Down him! <laughs> Gloria! Okay, probably a charger. I think it's down to 12, and he loses a life point! Yes! Yes! Alina's camera, though. Stuck on two lands. Okay. Something can't block. That could be dangerous, maybe. Probably not, but, but, but do now. Uh, okay, let's see here. It may be a planes. Okay, we, we don't have that. Uh, we'll put. I think we'll put down this. We keep up Harris Mauling because it's an instant. And kill whatever he plays. I mean, we're not too afraid of the tunneler. Unless he equips. That would count. Okay, that would count. Bloink! Bloink, bloink, badoink. And this costs seven still. It's got a lot of malice. Kind of a lot of malice. But. We are getting there, I think. Uh, we could not put down the Marauding Blight Priest, I guess. Put that down. And... Uh, we're gonna have to go up to 7. I, don't think, I think we gotta get him. I think we gotta get him, okay? And Ember, it ends badly. You may discard a card. If you do, you draw a card. Fisher Wizard. The Fisher Wizard. I think uh, this guy just got screwed over by just not drawing any lands. Need to put more lines in your deck, buddy. More lines. Uh, do we put down this now? I guess we do. At the beginning of the end step, he loses some life. We actually don't need this to win. So I think we just smack in. Smack in. He might lose six from this. It's a lot of damage. Is he now gonna block? But dunk okay. So then he didn't lose any life. Oh, actually, he lost life. Because his creature died, so that's a little bit of damage. I don't think as uh, I don't think red has any way of dealing with this. Probably somewhere the card, but oh, it's a goblin deck. <laughs> Actually, I think we're really lucky that he just got mana screwed. Um, okay, well we'll do this. 
Badank, Revanche, the opponent, Wink, and Smadank, Smadank, Smadabadabadabadabadank. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, we're low on lands, but we have Wrath of God, so guaranteed win. Easy pieces. I mean, we, we are gonna get two, probably. Platinum. Very quickly. And I think things are gonna change there. I mean, mostly the people who are stuck in gold are very new players. Because you get out of gold kinda quickly. Kinda quickly. You grow out of it. It's a phase in your life. The golden phase. The best phase. But then. I say, <laughs> I say I say that, and then you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna stay in gold this entire time. Oh, we can actually do this. Boing, boing. Doesn't change anything, but should probably have played this tap. No, I no no no. Because next time we want to play this, probably maybe we'll see. Probably maybe we'll see. Top gun, Brushfire. I respect this card. I've gotten beaten by this card, and I always forget the ability. I can't be blocked by creature with power two or less. A freaking birth of my lettuce, my lettuce, my lettuce. Always wants to block this. Don't burn. Ooh, haste. Man, this guy is going. Bane Anus. Okay, ah, uh, well. Warlock class. Oh, three cards. I think we just go life gain at this point. Uh, it's not. Not the most amount of life gain ever, but. At least we'll be able to Wrath of God. And maybe stabilize. Still five damage. So far, but it could definitely be more here. Okay, and werewolf pack leader. Oh, smack a bank, my bank of dunes. Um, let's see here. I think we play this right. We reveal this, and we just wrap it up. Loink, and we deal one damage. Dealing one damage, very important there. Very, very important. Hopefully, he just plays another creature like that thing, and then we just kill that thing. And we are so, so easy, so easy, oh! Or we just play this. Yeah, that's better. But then tapped. Uh, we keep up Haggard's Mauling, we pass down. And in good, I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape now. Top Gun, okay. It's a little bit of a boof. We'll smack him. I think. Oh. Scale the heights, put a plus counter on it. <coughs> you gain... Uh, we're gonna play an additional land. I don't think this will counter that ability, unfortunately. But we are gonna do this. Oh, it does! <laughs> okay. Okay. That was kinda good. That was kinda, that was kinda, kinda good. Kinda good. Um, oh, wait, I should have played this first. But I didn't. Didn't do it. Okay, well. Done this, but done another Warlock class. Actually, we just need a land there to win. Then we can win with this plus. Yeah, perfect. Nice! So we got the land, now we just need to level up one Warlock class. And then we need to play the Revenge, of course. And this battle you draw a card, sure. Um, mm, yeah, I think we do this. And we level up this. And we no attacks it. Down to 17, he has an Owlbear. And if you remember the Albers from uh, that one, they're kind, of, they're kind of good. Okay? They have some kind of magic protection, that one. But they don't have it here, I think about it. I don't know. This should definitely have like some kind of hexproof reward or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we got him, right? We got him. Revenge. Plank. Padunk. Uh, oh, we had another combo We could have played this also. That would have been as cool. Got him. I thought we were gold one. No, we were gold two. Now we're gold one. Okay, so soon we'll get the platinum. Soon. Very, very soon, everybody. Uh, Breath of God, I mean... Best card, apparently. But everybody plays only creatures. Breath of God is uh, kind of good. It's a cult. Lots, Of course. <laughs> He said everything. Loud, freaking Loud said everything. Everything has already been said by him. He just sat around in a corner, just mumbling random words his entire life. And that after that he could say that he said he had already said everything. Uh, an update is available. Please just start, okay? We'll do that after this.
We'll do that. Thank you so much for letting me know here. Yeah? But uh, we'll do that later. Okay, Lava Tribe though. Man, this thing. This actually, that's like actually a good card. Where is this from? Is this from Jumpstart? What's this, what's, what's this symbol even? I should know that, but I don't. Um, it's fine. We'll play this. Uh, do we need to play something to survive it, like a Vito? I don't think so. I think we're fine. I think we just life gain again. He smacks in with his dudes. He plays another dude. Wrath of God. Also called the Baller's card. Ooh, Silhana Wayfinder. Man, this is really good, isn't it? Three mana, three mana. I mean, it needs to survive for one time, but man, does this ramp you a lot. Lawnmower Tribe. You can play Lawnmower Elves in the Lawnmower Tribe. And then you can play Ugin and kill your own <laughs> elves or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea, but who knows. Oh my god, he spent his entire hand, okay? Oh, we're down to four. Ah, oh, we're gonna go up to 16. We're, we're totally fine, totally fine, everybody! Clear up his board! Clear up his board! Yeah, that's just how I roll, everybody. <laughs> One board wipe every time, every time it is, okay? Um, exquisite blood. Man, we can actually win next turn. Badoosh. Unless he has an enchantment removal. Did you get up? But he's probably gonna. Or maybe he has. We'll see. The mass. I'm really, though, the Lawnmower Tribe. I, I, I missed this card. It's kinda good. Lawnmower Elves, Lawnmower Tribe. What could you play for that? Okay, so you have six manas on your turn three. That's kind of a lot. I think you could win the game from that. I think you could win the game from that. Okay, well, play this. Be the Bandito. Gain the life point and. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -doosh! Mean speed him down. <laughs> we got him! Okay, so I'm an idiot. We're in platinum now. We were okay. We were in gold one, but we were one off getting the platinum. One little uh, thing. <laughs> one part of that meter off. Okay. Um, no compass, but <laughs> most decks is just crushes on the other hand. Oh my god, sorry, I've managed so many cards in the library. Silver Quill Canvas. Uh, sure. I'll put down this. Uh, put down a couple of tappers. Warlock. Oh, actually, this is a combo. This is uh, the win combo, okay? Creatures your opponent control and battlefield tap or a creature and battlefield under an opponent's control. Gain one life, okay? This is not gonna do much for you. I don't think. Maybe it does, we'll see. Faceless Haven. Hellion Sangron! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we'll check out the top cards though. And let's see, can we win with this? No, we can't. We pick this up anyways. We don't really seem to need lands. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll pick this up. We'll pick this up. Then we can choose whatever combo we want to go with anyways. Oh my! Put this down tapped. Okay. The flyer is kind of far off activating the face, let's say. Ooh, Vito Bandito, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, sir. I don't like one bit. Uh, we have a couple of board wipes, so. Spend one, I guess. Oh, and he loses one. Oh! Warlock class. <laughs> Warlock class delivering. As per use. Um, do we play the Blight Priest? Just to have the Blight Priest down. Um, we're not doing much next turn. No, we, we, no, no, we don't play the Black Priest. Not play it. It's sensitive cargo. Sensitive cargo. Oh no. Okay, we need to discard with that thing. Ah, schnons. Schnons, schnons. Uh, okay, maybe I should have taken a land actually, because it would have been better. Uh, no! Hold on, the might freaking reach! Okay, so we need to get up level with that thing. Um, I think we just put it down. Put down the Marauding Black Priest. He gains a life point. He puts a plus counter on his Helio. That's fine. And, uh, man, frack, we should have just taken land. Discard one card. Okay, they've got it. Goes. 
The first guy doesn't just play creatures. <laughs> Frack! <laughs> Our strategy is completely foiled by not playing creatures. Okay. Um. No! We should have taken the land! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is a land. This is a land. I'm a dingus. I'm an absolute mega dingus. Uh, and then we can activate this, and hopefully we'll have some cards left. Let me get that. Um, no, I think we ship one Scourge. Because we have so many ways of having his life total. We have an insane amount of ways of doing that. Okay. You can even keep against a life point. Fast and Reman Bronze. Can you get the That's fine. We'll level up this. And this tapped. Oof! And we're about to get him, I think. Okay, gaining lives. Points. Uh, we are gonna discard this Dave Yarchman, I think. I think that's gonna happen. Defiler. Okay, Linen Warlord. I think I think we got him. Oh, he's, or maybe not. <laughs> Probably do still. Okay. Probably do. Uh, can we win with Skyclave just because it's fan? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can. Uh, should we do that? We do that. Uh, kicker. Badoosh. Oh, wait. It doesn't kill him. <laughs> if, I, if I play the revenge, it would have. But now this gained him one life, so he goes down to one. Oops! Schnoops! Dappily doops! That's not good! Oh wait, no, it does kill him! Oh wait! But he gained one life! Wait. Oh, it was rounded up! So we dealt one more damage, and then he gained one life, <laughs> because we played that thing. Okay, so it worked out. It's fine. <laughs> Bewinski! But is he gonna Bewinski versus all the combos? Every freaking combo. Give this. Uh, they don't have a board wipe. And that worries me. It worries me a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. But on the other hand, we have many combos which can play there in 7, so... Maybe that's just gonna make up for the fact that we don't have it. Possibility. Uh, I think we play this. Tapply tappers. Tapply schnappily tappers. Schnappily dappily hampers. Have I ever even played Agonim's Awaken? I, like, I've put it in my deck, but I've always played as a land, I think. I think I've never ever used the ability on this. Or maybe I have. But I can't remember it. Kind of hilarious. It's, it, it's a lot of manas. It's a lot of manas to make that work. Make that thing come alive. Make it come alive. Uh, do we just not do anything? Or do we play the Marauding Blight Priest? I think we played Marauding Blight, and we can always return with Revival Revenge, anyways, if it dies. Unless it gets exiled. Gets exiled. No. I don't want to do much. That's fine. Okay. Put a vampire onto the battlefield. Drana. Ooh, we are Mana Scourge. <laughs> we are so, so Mana Scourge right now. <laughs> Vampire versus vampire, but we have no manas. Uh, I don't see any good plays. We just passed turn. Uh, the good play is don't get mana scourge. That's a good play. Getting mana scourge, not a good play. On the other hand, I think like our first two opponents were very mana scourge also. So, so it might just be. Very fair that this is happening right now. Might just be. We'll see. Okay. Another eight. Another nothing. <laughs> Central. Frank, not Radiant Fountain. Are we gonna die to Mana Scrooge? No. A little, little bit of damage back. Play Vito Bandito. To show him what we're all about. A blocker. Activate this and he wins next turn. Oh no, he has pluses there. No, he doesn't win. He doesn't win. He almost wins. But he doesn't win. He's just very close. Wait, if he attacks him with this, 10, uh, 6, 12 damage with Vito, plus he flings it, and then he wins. <laughs> <Rack>! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, buddy. No, why did you do that? You could have won. Just activate Vito, then sacrifice with Sora, and then you win. Okay, well, I guess that's fine. Uh, but now he's one of winning, right? He could have won. He could have won. <laughs> activate Vito. Attack in with Drana. Throw Drana with Soren. Or am I mistaken? And I think that would have been enough. Pretty sure it would have been. I would didn't draw that. Okay, okay, okay. This feels much better. Guess why it feels much better. Manas. <laughs> board wipe. It's all elite. First, first you board wipe, then the game begins. A game of magic has not begun before the first board wipe has just swept the board. Then begins the real game of magic. <laughs> You need a clean slate, and you start over, and then things can happen after that, okay. So what? That is uh, left point, we'll put down this. I guess mauling, hopefully we'll not get land scooge again. Just gonna, gonna be sad, but I don't think we can. I mean, yeah, technically we could, but it's unlikely when we have warlock class. Can you check three cards? So many cards. So many cards. Gem though, soul warden. I like the life gain deck. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. It's so popular, it's so insanely popular, that I think wizards, they're missing out on an opportunity to make more monies. And I think we, I, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this. I think wizards likes money. Everybody, if they print, like make all of these cards, all the good cards, with chance like life gain abilities, make them mythic. <laughs> Print like a set with just life gain abilities. Um, and they, they just win at life if they do that. They're gonna get so much money. So much money. And it's not gonna affect like the the top players ever. Like, like the life gain deck, I don't think it's ever gonna be like the best. I mean, maybe at some point, but it's unlikely to be the best deck ever. But on this Scrubian level that we're playing right now, you know. Very, very popular. Very, very popular. So, uh, let's see here. Can we win? Let's see. Hagger's Mauling, Warlock class. I think he has to go for another Warlock class, honestly. The Diggle Dig. Um, revival Revanche. Oh, actually, we can win with Vito plus Revival. Wait, do we have. Wait, do we have six combos in deck? I thought we had five combos. This is six. Oh, that would be even better. If we could have 600. 166 combos in my deck. That would be even more amazing of a thumbnail material, but nah, that's, uh, that's not how it is. Uh, yeah, Vito plus Revenge wins. I didn't think about this. This love doubles a life total, and he loses that much life, so. Okay. Okay. Or is it five combos? Five or six combos? Well, we'll, we'll take it out that. Later, later. Oh, revitalizes! Okay. Sure. And we need to get... I think we're gonna ease in with a Marauding Blight Priest. It seems weird. Why would you play Marauding Blight Priest when it doesn't do anything, really? Well, the reason is this. Play this guy. And he's gonna kill it. He has a removal spell, but then he's not gonna play that on Vito. And that's exactly what we want. Boink! Crypt of the Eternals. A dunk. He's down 23. Not that it matters too much, I don't think, but... Kind of nice. Soul Warden. Thinking Resplendissant! Oh, Resplendissant! Man, we played this card a lot when this was new. Played it a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, We could play Vito Mandido and... No, we can't win, because... He has more life than we have. Frack. <laughs> we are smacking with the Marauding first. First order of Baznaz. Okay, takes it. Good. Wrath of God. It's not tapped. And lose a life point. Now it's a kill with Vito, right? Because now we have as much life. So if we... No, no, no. No, actually, it is a combo. It, it would have been a kill anyways. Like, if he has a, an insane amount of HP, it's not a kill with revenge, but it is. It is now which very much a kill. And that is very good. Okay. We'll do this. Gain the life point. No, don't kill me, though! 
That would oh oh actually now we can use Academy's Awakening. We just said I've never used it. Now we can it's a perfect opportunity to use it next turn. It's perfect. Or we just win with this, you say, which is just a million times easier. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, next turn we level up Border Class and win with it. It's a basic lemon squeeze. Jam, okay. It's life point there. Last turn. Um. Okay, we'll do this. We'll pay three life. We'll badoosh. But do we level up the Warlock class? Or he has something? No, he doesn't. Okay. Okay. Zero damage dealt, but... Okay. End of turn. Is he gonna kill it now? Frack! <laughs> Frack! We need more combos! Gem kills all our combos every time he kills them. We have combo. He kill combo. We have combo. He kill combo. We have combo. Yeah, you see, you see what's going on. We could exquisite blood plus revival back or veto and have a life gain down and win that way. Okay. Is this enough mana to do it? Looks like it, okay. Exquisite blood, unless he has another fracture. If he has another fracture. I mean, if he has another fracture, he has another fracture. Who cares? We just go for it. Exquisite blood. Boink! Revival. Oh, we excel our Vito, but we can win with this also. It's also, it's also win. <laughs> also win is fine. Fine, fine. Ain't fun. Oh, yes, another removal. Frack, frack, <laughs> frack. How many removals? But a fracture, fracture, baleful mastery. Uh, kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. Sure. Fine. Okay. Levels that up. Uh, do we have his life total? I mean, it seems like we just do that right now. Uh, we have our life total also. Let's do it. Badoosh. Uh, 10, 10, and... Uh, he's down to 7. Doing something, at least. We're not winning with the combo, but... I don't think so. Okay. And removal spell. Gonna return something, though. Gain life equal to its toughness. What does he have, even? The Soul Worm and a Resplendent Sound. Resplendent Sound is kind of good now. He goes for Soul Worm. <laughs> what? Sir, you are a genius of sorts. Uh, okay, you need to block this now. As you be dead. Or does he have a way of. I don't know. Does he have a way of doing something here, which I'm not thinking about? Possibility? Uh, well, I have just done a turn. Let's beat him down with the Scourge of the Sky Cutters. Just beat him down, okay? Uh, smack in. See what happens. Badoosh. Badish, badoosh. Uh, yeah, I think Scarlet is Scarlet there, buddy. I think that's what needs to happen. You get protection from everything. Oh no! What happens if we have his life total now? I don't think we're gonna do it, but. That's what happens. <laughs> what does this even say? Oh, your life total can't change. Okay, luckily we didn't do that. <laughs> luckily we didn't do it. Man, can you combine this with like the Scourge of the Sky Cliffs or something? Your life total can't change and then you like do stuff and stuff? Sacrifice creature, Marauding Mad Priest. I would like to keep my town done if at all possible. That'd be noise. That'd be freaking noise. Okay. Uh, wait, can we just give that thing life gain also? Because that would be cool. No, so shatter, so shatter. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good just as ten ten. I think. I think that's good enough for me. And turn. Hopefully, it doesn't have a board wipe. <laughs> that we got, that we got done. Okay. Clear claws. It's surely gonna level. No wait, no. Doesn't do anything if it levels it up. It doesn't have enough mana to do anything. Oh my god! Do you have another removal? Baleful Master! Man, this guy had removal. Let me tell you. <laughs> you like it just now, doesn't do anything! <laughs> it might also make it so that we don't win there. We could draw into a combo piece or something. He's like confused, what are you doing? It doesn't do anything, I know! I know it doesn't do anything! Just gave everything I think. Okay. And then we draw a card. A douche! <laughs> Let me give everything life link again! Oh! Double life link! Oh! Smack it! <laughs> Doesn't life link stack! <laughs> it should! <laughs> it should stack! 
It's not a two. I could probably play this better. Yeah, if, we, if we'd activated the Scourge of the Skyclaves and kickered it, I think that would've been good. He can now uh, play this four mana thing. Man, he had a lot of... I mean, he, I think he just drew a lot of removal. A Silver Quill... Sh okay, no. I mean, that's Baleful, Silver Quill, and Fracture. Essential owner removal. But we're beating him. Vito Bandino. Unless he has a, another removal spell, we'll see. Wink! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Be the bandito! <laughs> Got it! Buddy, for, for staying with the channel through all these hiatuses and everything. Thank you so much. And a special thank you to the latest members, of course, which are Matt, DC, uh, two different members, and Tilani, not wrestler, wrestler. Thank you so much. And also, thank you. Welcome back, I should say. To just see W. Thanks so much, and see you tomorrow, I think. Hello, Daniel. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take all of the views. No, the. Those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, Senor. You see, you have subs at zero percent. And non subs, a hundred percent. That's why he can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little the thing down there.